What's up guys, Salad here, and I'm back again with another game hacking tutorial for you. And this one is about the glow hack, glow wall hack in CSGO. So it's a pretty simple one, and why is that? Is because the game already gives us the the functionality to make glow. You know, if you're spectating and stuff, you already see the glow. And I think I mentioned that in my first uh, hackers uh, game hacking t uh, tutorial that the game gives us the option to make it glow. So that's why it's so easy. And this is pretty sad, I'd say. But on the other hand, everybody can <laughs> do this pretty much because it's that simple, really. It's a bit, it's a bigger one than the trigger bot, and that's what she said actually. But it's more code to write, but it's at a lot of points it's the same as the other tutorials. And if you didn't watch them, I suggest you to watch them first, so you understand more what's going on, or even watch from the first tutorial, because you like you'll get sad from not understanding anything if you just if you have no experience or just watching it just like that so i suggest you to start with the first one so you understand more and maybe have fun doing this and not just copy and pasting because there's no point in hacking if you don't know what you're doing so yeah you can see um they're pretty much very very beautiful blue glow I like that it's so intense just one more round I'm gonna put SV cheats on and yeah, just no clip to the place right there where they're at there we go so yeah you can see they're glowing through the walls and stuff uh, that's pretty nice and we'll be looking at the coat in a sec I'm gonna close the game. So yeah, I wanna start off with the reference we're using. It's the same as in the other tutorials, VA memory. It's a memory library. You can make your own one, but so yeah, we are using VA memory to do this. You should uh, make a known one, a known uh, memory library, because it's more safe than this. So we're using system, but that's yeah, that's pretty basic. So we're also using threading, so it doesn't uh, get the too much resource uh, while doing the whole process. And we're using diagnostics as usual to get the uh, client address from the process CSGO from the client DLL, if that makes sense. So yeah, we have this process string, which is CSGO, so it can be any other game. But b because we're doing this for CSGO especially, uh, I have CSGO here. So we're making an object from VA memory with the process and then we check if we can get the module address and the module is client DLL so we're trying to get its address because if we can get it then the game is running and that's what we want. We want the game to be running so we can start hacking. So we're getting the client address base address to the client variable and then we start the while loop so we need two structs here and the structs are built like this so a float or four floats and two bools the first one is rgb and the alpha but it doesn't really matter uh, which which comes first because you select them from uh, the code you select them from the struct in the code later. But I do it like this because usually you do it RGBA. So that's the reason I do it uh, like this. And you call the structs, for example, enemy and team. And then you set up the colors which you want, for example, minus. So one is this color and zero is uh, like no, none of this color. And alpha is basically how much you see them through walls. So I'm doing red full for enemy and the rest is off. And this one enables the glow. So keep that in mind, you have to set this to true. And for the other one I'm doing blue. So basically that's simple. And then I need an 
Then I need an int uh, address so we can build up the address every time because we know how VI memory works, you know. And then we need, need an int so we can loop through every player and make every player glow uh, which exists. So we are building up the local player here, we're building up the team, so our team from local player, and then we're getting the entity list and the whatever person we got his team so we can define who's glowing red and who's glowing blue and also if he's dormant and this is basically if he's too far away there isn't protection if he's too far away and I showed this in the first video too then we can't see him through walls even if you put R draw the models 2 you'll notice that he doesn't exist uh, in the in our game but his coordinates still exist, I believe. So using the coordinates, coordinates we could draw some uh, boxes, so some ESP boxes. But as we're doing this glow, it doesn't work if he's dormant. It's just a laying, laying person on the ground, and that's why we don't want the ugly laying person uh, when we don't see them. Because we might think it's a dead one, but then he's not. Or something like that. So yeah, we check for that. And then we see uh, if yeah if he's uh, not dormant, then we build up the glow index, and we need that uh, glow index to make it glow. <laughs> that sounds pretty pretty simple. Uh, it's just a calculation. It's like how it, this works. It's nothing I have. Uh, found out or something like that, but it's just how it works in the game. So these are the properties in the memory or the, the spaces in the memory we have to change to make it glow. And that's why we do it. And every color has its uh, space in the memory and there, therefore it's 4, 8, C, 10, 24, 25. This is the reason for that. So we always have this calculation which we make the next uh, glow object basically you could say so then I have a calculation for current which is glow object plus calculation and glow index is an address and glow object is an address and all these obviously also addresses you need to find, find them either on the internet or by yourself uh, I'm not going to show this because I mean, I'm not going to show you the addresses because in current state they work, but in the next update they might be not working <laughs> and I don't want people to add me and say the addresses don't work or something like that because that's really annoying, you know, if everybody adds me and uh, saying the addresses I use don't work, obviously they don't work if there was an update, you know. So I don't want people to ask me, that's why I just let you here with the glow index and the glow objects so you know what you need. So yeah, after we have done this, uh, they should start glowing. This whole process makes it uh, glow. It's basically we repeat for every person this process, and we also do that for, you know, this uh, if statement. If he's on my team, then this will be blue glow, and this will be red glow. Very simple. So yeah, I don't think there is anything else to left to say about this, and this is really bl big. I like it more like this, but I wanted you to see better, but I couldn't explain as good when it's so big because I need to refer to the rest of the code. And I might have forgotten something because, I mean, this this looks horrible. We got so, man so many of these, this VA memory, it's horrible. Because we have to build up every, every int uh, address for its own before we can read it and that's what makes it so ugly but yeah anyways i thank you guys for watching and see you next time peace out